What's going on guys? How are we doing today? Today's video is going to be talking about two of the biggest things in Galaxy of Heroes in regards to being a better player, or not really being a better player, but just having a good account. Um, what makes up a good account? Well, in my opinion, there's kind of two different things. Um, one of which is having all of the GLs, of course. I mean, that's, that's like a no-brainer. Um, I'm going to show you later on a comparison side by side between my account and then also some of my my guild that has a similar account same gp um and kind of just get a feel for how different we are <clears throat> pretty close but in some in some different areas we're different um so we'll go over that but first and foremost is gls having all of the galactic legends of course of course will be a huge game changer for you in gac and tw and every other mode out there um, there's a whole different video out there if you want to know which ones to go for first, but just having them, it makes your account that much better. Kind of no brainer, right? But also that goes along with GLs or just having these, these other, um, strong, um, characters built up, but it's really their, their whole team that you build with them. In my opinion, that makes them strong, you know, because, uh, <laughs> Lord Vader without that Royal Guard there, without that mall there, it's not that good, right? So... And same thing goes with like JMK and Cat, and uh, you know Master Luke with the other Jedi. You know they all they all have their certain team, right? And you can't neglect some of those characters. It's just not something you want to neglect. But the biggest thing, I mean, that's a, that's a big thing having those teams, right? But the biggest thing is mods. So in today's video, we're gonna still kind of be going and talking about different teams and characters, but we're gonna be pretty much roasting some of my mods, and and my account as as a whole. So. <laughs> mods guys they're still huge i could go and tell you a whole nother videos worth of uh of just explaining what mods you need right now because there's so many sets and and things you need uh same thing offense and health are pretty big right now but having mods i would say this okay having a lot of plus 15 speed mods like let's just you know go over some of the ones that we have to show readily available going into this little thing go to sort by speed and then going down here to the speed here on the secondary stat this is all what i'm talking about in terms of a plus 15 all of these are going to be plus 15 in speed um people in the past i mean they still might um do this they they <laughs> kind of rate you based off of your plus 15s and your mod index and how much you have it's important i'm not going to say it's not important but I almost feel like a plus 20 or plus 25 is that even much more important right now. Um, because those can, those can go in a lot of different teams out there. You know, a lot of those more important characters, maybe even GLs that need speed or just speed mods in general. I mean, they're important to have, right? But even more importantly, at the moment, I feel like that's more important than just having a bunch of plus 15s is 6E mods. So... I'm making this video mainly to do with kind of showcasing how bad my 6E mods are because I've been getting roasted in some discords about my personal account and how how low and how little I have of 6E mods. So to show this, I brought up my account and I compared it to a, a guild mate of mine. So let's go over and look at it and see the comparison of mods and GLs. And also the 6E mods. So let's go over here. <clears throat> there we go. So this guild mate is named Izeta. So let's look at this for a second. In the same guild, okay. GP wise, um, he has 500k, around 500k less than me in GP. I mean, it's it's not like it's way off. It's pretty close. Um, but there's still a bit of a difference in GP there. Like, I might even have him in a GAC as an opponent. Like, it's it's a potential thing. It's a possibility, right? Anyways, um, let's go over GLs first, okay? He has all but, of course, Starkiller because nobody nobody really has Starkiller unless you're a big spender, okay? Just kind of how the reality of the, of the situ situation is, all right? Um, and then also, he has no Lord Vader. But I will tell you this. I I find, and I also... I see this in my, my GAC streams I've had in the past and just opponents I get throughout the weeks and months is that if a guy I'm fighting maybe has just one GL less than me, like this guy right here, my guildmate, Izeta, but he has 
pretty sexy mods. That opponent, just based off of mods solely, I'm actually a little bit more concerned with that opponent than somebody that doesn't have the exact amount of GLs that I have. So, let's go look at mods. I'm not sure if you guys can quite see this, but we'll zoom in a tiny little bit here. So, mod analysis. This is the biggest thing here. I gotta say, this is one of the biggest things in when you're comparing and looking and scouting out an opponent. In GAC, it's always about mods, what their mods look like. Are they a legit opponent or are they kind of crappy? And then, of course, their second thing I like to go for, at least, is the GAC history and looking at what they like to set. Because looking at what they like to set based off of their mods, you can kind of get a feel for what kind of mods and how strong that team might be with the mods they have. Because it can change counters drastically, guys. All right, so, like I said, six E's. Um, I think there's a whole chart that I was sent um, looking at, you know, the amount of six E's that you need based off of your GP. If I can find that, I'll show you that right now. So here is the little, uh, the sheet, the chart, whatever you want to call this, of galactic power going on the, I'll actually close my face cam for this, is uh, it's showing um, galactic power to the left. And then as we go to the right, that is the extra, you know, 10 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20, so on and so forth, right? So... This is actually from Shadowlands Discord. I was able to kind of look at it and get a feel for it. It might be a little bit old and outdated, but this is a good indication. So looking at somebody like me and Izeta, um, let's just look at 7.5 million, okay? Six E's, okay? How many, what's the goal? There's a min and there's an average and then there's a goal. What is the goal for a 6 E mod inventory at 7.5 million GP? Well, it is 474. And guys, I am at, what is it again? I'm at 272. So don't neglect 6E mods, okay? I know that you always are wanting to get more of those plus 15s and plus 20s, but you really can't neglect 6E mods. They are very, very, very important. But if you look at everything else in terms of the goals for that GP, let's look at plus 20s. It looks like at 7.5 million GP, you want to have 70 plus 20. So what is mine again at plus 20s? Yeah, I, I'm hitting that mark. So that's good. And the same as same as Izeta. So that's great. Looking at plus 15s, we're looking at 301. So let's see what we got here. 301 for plus. Is it plus 15s? Okay, we're a little bit off there. Um, it's like the goal, right? But it's not like we got to have it. Still pretty good though. I mean, if you're pushing... If you're pushing that, or like if you're even somewhat close, that's awesome. Like I said earlier, though, I think plus 20s and plus 25s are a little bit more important right now. This chart does not, it sadly does not show plus 25 and what you're supposed to have for the goal. But <coughs> I think that's a pretty good indication of what you would like to have at that GP. So going back, going back to the, the six E mods, though, guys, um, isn't that crazy? My, my max, I have 272, I think. That is not even enough of six E's for a 5.5 million GP player. And I'm above that by like 2.3 million GP. I don't even have that many six E's. So this is where I think an average player, maybe not even average, maybe you know you know your counters, you know how to get mods, you know, you know everything. You know the in and outs of Galaxy of Heroes. Well, you still might be neglecting the six E mods. And I think that's one big thing that can hold you back from being a Ha or rather having a better account, okay? I think that's the one thing right now that a lot of people are seeing that they're lacking is 6E mods. Um, so, again, thir gear 13s, I mean, I'm not really too concerned about, but I'm more concerned with the 6E mods. Again, I am more, and I'm scouting an opponent, guys, I am looking more at mods, mod inventory, GAC history, and then also looking at... The mods, the 6E mods. That's probably the biggest thing. It really is. Anyways, um, I just had to like kind of go off on a tangent here about mods because or rather 6E mods because they're so important, guys. Um, I mean, look at, I got to show you one thing, okay? Before I wrap up this video is showing you the amount that I have saved up. I still have a 317. This is a lot of of these, what is it, Mark II Pulse Modulators. I mean, I used to have like 700, just like stacked up. I I had none of that uh, extra mod inventory for slicing to get a 6E mod. Guys, you gotta do it. I really believe, 
I am a firm believer of doing all 50s and then all 100s in your mod, um, your mod energy every single day. Literally every single day, you got to do it. I think that is the best way to get both plus, um, or rather, six E mods, and then also getting the opportunity of getting those extra plus 15s, plus 20 mods, because that just is just guys mods i mean it's the game of i just clicked the wrong one it's the game of mods it really is a galaxy of mods that's what it feels like that's what it's always kind of been like ever since they were introduced because you don't know how important these good mods really are later on in the game especially with these new slicing materials past 6e with you know the whatever it is i don't even know these days i mean it's like the gold the purple the blue the green all those ones you know those those are really where it's at but to get there we have to go through getting 6e's and it's it's just one thing you don't want to neglect, okay? So yeah, I'm doing all these ones right here just to get another another plus or rather, another rather 6e mod in my inventory. Um, every day right now, af after I've been doing all these, you know, hundreds and fifties for the refreshes, I get about an average one 6e mod a day based off of my current inventory of my gold 5e's. I think it's 5e's, I could maybe be wrong. Um, but, you know, as I'm farming these, I know I have decent mods for most of my teams, okay? I know I do, but then you've got some mods that are on important characters that are not 6e. Like, right now, Grief Karga doesn't have a full 6e set. Um, Royal Guards 1, I mean, the, the list goes on and on. I recently just got some of these mods here to 6e because I wanted and I needed more of these health primaries. I know they don't have the best speeds, but they have other couple good stats here. Defense percent, health you know, so on and so forth, just to get my characters that I feel like are important for new GAC teams or just any team in general with better stats. I mean, that's really what it's all about, guys, is getting those extra stats. They are huge. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll put one on in the video here for today. That's about it. All I want to talk about is 6e mods, and I feel like I did, I did get my point across the board of how important they are. Um, also, <laughs> I got to flex the Zam for a second. A 361 Zamp's pretty sexy. I have some haters in my dis my different discords that are like, why do you have that fast of the Zam, guys? I don't care. I have a 361 Zam. I love it. Um, don't look at that Darth Revan. Anyways, I will slap this on, I think, on C less or somebody that needs another addition to a bump in speed. Again, I just do this. Literally every single time I come over here, I do this little speed here. I go to Mark 5. I go to, it's, it's tier A rather, not tier um, E. And I just look at whoever needs it. I mean, these are some decent mods I still got on these guys. Maybe I put one Echo. You know what? I want Echo because he's a good character to have fast. So look at that. Another 60 in the books, guys. That's about it. Getting more 60s. They're super awesome to have. Didn't even go talk about pilots. Pilots benefit hugely from 6e mods. Looking at just my, you know, my Han Solo and also Biston, their whole rebel fleet, they need 60s. Um, just very simply put. I got 194 on my Hans Falcon. On Biston's Ewing, he is, I think, a little bit faster. He is 157. And if you do the math here, he will go right before Mr. Han, Han Solo. I'm just doing the math right here really quick as I end off the video. 125. 196. So he's a couple speed faster. Anyways, 6Es, pilots, characters, GLs, literally everybody. Get 6Es, guys. They're so, so important. Your guild will love you too. Um, but that's about it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later. Peace out and have a good one. Bye, guys.